antics welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning viewer it is lovely to have you here and i hope you are all well because we have another crafty project to have a go at so in this week's video we are looking at how to make your own diy citronella candles using soy wax and citronella essential oils as well as reusing some old jam jars to use as a container for the candles. Now this project is fabulous at warding off some pesky bugs and critters that may be coming along to have a nibble when you are sitting out in the nice warm summer evenings. Now I know it's not that great weather at the moment but hopefully I'm keeping all my fingers crossed that the sun does make a reappearance and we do have some lovely summer evenings and using the jam jars is a great way of recycling some of your rubbish and now you can use jam jars for a lot of different things and i know i've used old sauce jars for little containers for makeup brushes and so on and so forth so i thought i would turn these jars into candles and i know they are used to our in hot heat because when you make jam you will put really hot liquid into the glass so they should be fine for candles but if you do want to upsell any glassware just make sure it's thick enough and it will endure the heat of a candle but you can basically make candles in anything it is so versatile craft and really rewarding as well so if you would like to see how to make your own diy citronella candles then let's get crafting to make the citronella candles you are going to need two empty jam jars soy wax which i think i bought from amazon some pre-waxed wicks and glue dots to attach them and some wick straighteners as well as a wax melting pot your citronella essential oils again I will link below where I bought this and a thermometer first you need to measure out how much wax you are going to need for your jam jar so here is my calculations and to get this number you just need to fill your jam jar with water measure that in a measuring jug minus 20% worth of that and that should give you the measurement in grams. I'll show you how to get the fragrance measurement later on when we come to the fragrance but you just want to weigh out in your wax melting pot the amount of wax that you need. Now I combine the two jam jars so I'm doing the full calculation for this one. So as you can see I've got 506 grams and my pot is pretty full. I think I do actually need a bigger candle pot here so I haven't got one so I'll see how it goes and if it starts to bubble over then uh, maybe abandon ship and maybe do them individually but we'll find out. This is the two jars combined in here they are 350 millilitres worth of liquid and you transfer them into the grams minus 20% so the total of them two together was 700 grams with the minus 20% is 560 grams totally for the wax. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Place the wax melting pot into a pan with a little bit of water, Ban Marie style, and begin gently melting this down. Whilst your wax is melting down, you want to measure out your chosen fragrance. Now this is citronella essential oils, and to work out how much of this you need, you just need to work out 10% of your total amount of wax, and that should give you the right amount for your fragrance or essential oils. So in this instance, it is 56 grams worth of citronella essential oils for the two candles. Check on the wax and make sure that it is melting nicely. Now you never want to leave melting wax unattended so make sure you are working within the same space whilst you are doing other bits to prep for the candles. And then prep your jam jars so that they can be used as candles by adding in your pre-waxed wicks. Now I think I bought these from Amazon and I am securing these in place with a foam glue dot. Um, but if you don't have any of these you can actually use a glue gun to secure your wicks down or if you don't have a glue gun you can also use some of that wax that is melting just coat the end of the wick in that melting wax and place it into the jam jar now you want to make sure that you center your wicks as much as possible 
because this will give it an even burn and when you are sticking it down you may find that it doesn't fully stick so you may need to get either a long handled spoon or something that is long just to push the sticky dot in place to make sure it is fully sticking to the bottom of the jar. When your wicks are stuck down you then want to use a wick stabiliser just to keep that wick upright and centred into the jar. Now if you don't have any of these you can use chopsticks or pegs just make sure that they fit across the jam jar top to hold that wick in place. Keep checking on your wax that it is melting and follow the melting point guides that you get on the wax packet because all waxes do come a little bit differently. Now my melting point is between 50 degrees to 90 degrees centigrade and um, so once it was fully melted I just removed this from the heat to cool slightly before adding in the fragrance oil. Now generally you want to add fragrance oil in I think about 75 degrees or it's what temperature I use. This just helps give a really good cold and hot throw to the scent of the candle. So once it has reached this temperature you want to add in your essential oil of citronella and really mix it in for a few minutes. Now you may find that the temperature of the wax will cool dramatically when adding in any fragrance oil or essential oils but it does depend on what fragrance that you are using because it does work differently as it does in soap making. So give it a really good mix up together. Again you want to check your wax container or wax packaging for the pouring point. Generally I pour at 60 degrees centigrade because I find this gives me the best texture to my candles although this time it didn't fully work but yes just once you have reached that temperature you do want to pour it into those waiting jam jars. Now do be careful because this wax will still be very hot and you don't want to get it onto your skin and as you can see I am making a little bit of a mess here um, and I think it's just because of the position of those wick stabilizers. Um, so fill up the wax to as much as you want into the jar but do be mindful that your wick stabiliser will leave an imprint if you do get the wax too close to it. If you notice that there are some air bubbles in your melted wax then you can just gently tap the jam jars to help release these air bubbles. Now I don't know if this contributed a little bit to my wax not setting smoothly as this is the first time that I've tried this method but if you want to try it then be my guest and then allow these to set and harden and it will take a few hours for them to do so. As you can see I have a few sinkholes in the top of my candles. Now this can be quite common when using soy wax and certain essential oils can also have an impact on how the wax sets so this could be a combination of the two but you can rectify this so if you are a crafter like me and have a heat gun then you are in good hands because all you need to do is melt down a bit of that top layer of wax to fill in that sinkhole and hopefully your sinkhole doesn't go too far and this will rectify and give it a smoother finish on top. Now I do not recommend using a hairdryer for this. Trust me, I have had experience with this and it will splatter your wax everywhere. The hairdryer is just too powerful to sort of blast the wax so don't use a hairdryer and then hopefully it should set nice and smooth. Now this step is optional but if you have used a plain jam jar and want to jazz it up then I use some stick on gems just to give it a bit of extra glam. So to stick these on you just need a hot glue gun and place them on the back of the gem and then stick it to the jar. Now the hot glue shouldn't interact with the wax inside, it will start to harden and cool very quickly as soon as it hits the glass so it's not a worry that the wax will melt inside but then just keep applying bits of glue and sticking on your chosen gems. I have gone for green and an amber yellowy goldy type gems here and some green sequins just to give it that outdoor colour look as it is a citronella candle and it will be used outdoors to ward off those pesky critters when we have a bit of sunshine and can sit out and enjoy it. So yes just keep at it on until you get the design you like.
And then to finish the candle, you just want to trim the wick to about a centimeter or an eighth of an inch. I don't work in inches, so I'm not quite sure if that does translate. So you want to make sure the wick is cut short and then your citronella candle is ready to be used. how to make your own DIY citronella candles using soy wax, citronella essential oils and some old jam jars. Now I think these have turned out really effective and they're so useful for warding off those bugs. Citronella is renowned for being a bug repellent and I really like that you can upcycle and recycle some of those old glass jars. Now you can use glass jars for anything but I think they are great for using as candles. And you can leave them as plain as you like or you can jazz them up like I did with some stick on gems and really create the design you want. You probably could actually decoupage some really nice thin patterned paper onto them as well and they would look really pretty. But obviously if you're using outdoors, I'm going to leave them outdoors. You need to be careful that they don't get ruined. Um, so it's always good to keep that jam jar lid to keep them protected when the candles are not in use. And of course, it goes without saying, please use your own caution when you are making these. I don't want to take any responsibility for any fires or anything like that so do make sure you are safe when making your candles or never leave the wax unattended and never ever mix wax and water together because that can cause a big explosion and you don't want that make sure that you are using all the right equipment and not cutting corners with it because you know it is a fire risk so do be careful and if you are planning on giving anything away to friends or families or even selling them I've never sold candles because I think it's a little bit of a sticky ground I'd love to do something like that in the future but yes make sure that you do some form of safety test and apply safety labels so that the other person knows how to use it properly but yes, with all that seriousness, enjoy your lovely DIY citronella candles. They are perfect for the summer evening and warding off those bugs. So if you like the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already to keep up with more of my crafting and takes. I range from making candles to a bit of beauty DIY to a bit of home decor. There's a lot thrown into the mix with a sprinkling of travel sometimes when we can travel. But it's all sort of centred around handmade and homemade things for you to enjoy and to inspire your creativity. So hit that subscribe if it's Sounds like something you would like to keep up with and there's a new video every Sunday morning so be sure to check them out check out my blog as well links below Ames's antics because there's always a lot of information over there because there's a new blog post for every video that I put on so you get a little bit of both the written and picture example as well as this video version so be sure to check that out and with that said I will see you in next week's video Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and week and I will see you next time. Bye! Wow.